Hello guys welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to create an IKFK rig in Maya. I will be using an ARM model to give you an example of how to set up the IKFK. First go to the front view to create a bone setup. Adjust the position of the bones as per shoulder, elbow and wrist. Use the top view to adjust the position of the bones. Bend the elbow joint a bit back so as to create a natural pose once the arm is bent. Now rename the joints as shoulder SKN, elbow SKN and wrist SKN. The SKN will be represented as skin joints which we will be later binding it to the arm. We will be creating two sets of the SKN joint chain. One for FK mode and other for IK mode. So duplicate the SKN joint chain and rename one joint chain as IK and rename the other as FK. Now we have to create controllers for the IK and FK chains. For creating controllers I will be using wizard controller tool. First we will proceed with the FK setup. I will be making the FK controllers as circles. With the help of wizard tool I quickly created the circle controllers and renamed them as per their respective joints. Once done make sure you parent them as per the joint chain. Now we need to change the size and orientation of the controllers. For this press the F8 key to enter component mode. And select all the vertices. Once selected press the control and shift key and right mouse button. And go to the rotation center object. This enables us to rotate all the controllers to rotate from their center. Once rotated do the scaling as well in the same manner. You can also change the color of the controllers. Now we will be moving to the IK setup. Enable the IK joints and go to the skeleton menu and select enable IK, with the rotate, plane solver on. Once done select the shoulder IK and then the wrist IK so as to create an IK handle. Rename the IK handle as wrist IK handle. Now we will be creating the IK controllers. First I will create the pole vector control and then the wrist IK control. For the pole vector control make sure you place the controller a little bit far from the elbow, to get a good bend in the elbow once the pole vector is attached. Place the pole vector controller in a group and rename it as pole vector control group. Now 
Now create the wrist controller and scale it as per the wrist. Once done create an empty group on the wrist IK control and rename it as wrist IK control group. Place the wrist IK handle under the wrist IK controller. Now do a pole vector constraint with the pole vector controller. Let's create an IKFK switch. Use the wizard controller and select any controller of your choice. Rename it as IKFK switch. Make sure you rename the group as well. Now hide the channel box options and create a new attribute under the edit menu. Under the edit attribute type in IKFK in the long name. Use data type as float and in the numeric attribute properties, type the maximum value as 1 and press add. If you want to add a slash use the edit attribute option and add the slash in the nice name section. Now let's create separate groups for IK and FK controllers. In one group place all the IK controllers and in second group place all the FK controllers. Once done we will now be connecting all the driver joints to the bind joints. Now select the shoulder IK shoulder FK and the shoulder SKN joint and create a orient constraint with maintain offset on. Repeat the same process with the elbow and wrist as well. Now use the set driven in the key section to create set driven process between the IK FK switch and the constraints. In the set driven tab under the driver tab, Add the IKFK match switch, and inside the driven tab, add all three orient constraints. Keep the IKFK switch to 0, and keep the constraints with FK to 0, and IK to 1, and add a key to each of them. Repeat the same process with keeping the IKFK switch to 1, and keep the constraints with IK to 0, and FK to 1. This will keep all the IK constraints active when the IKFK switch is on zero and Now repeat the same process with the driven as the IKFK controllers group. You need to key the visibility with the switch. Once done, orient constraint the FK controllers to the FK joints. Now check if the the whole setup is working correctly or not by switching the space switch between IK and FK. We need to lock the translates and scales of the controllers. Also make sure you do an orient constraint from the IK wrist control to the wrist IK joint. 
just check that everything is working fine. Once finalized, select the SKN joints and bind it with the arm mesh and skin it. I have done basic skinning to test my the setup. I have used the default Maya Paint Skin Weights tool for skinning. You can do the same or can use BR Smooth Paints as well. There. All done. Hope you guys like my video. Do like my videos and subscribe to my channel.